Hey guys, this is Eric from Pin Pioneer, and today we have a big treat for you, version 1081. Now after some recent downtime, we finally released a very kick-ass version um, with some new features, um, some slight GUI tweaks, um, and lots of new things to come. We have many updates planned uh, within the next couple of days, so this is strictly a recap of some of the new things, um, some of the old things, and some potential advice, if need be. So to start off, um, the main thing is, well, one of the things, from now on, if, as soon as you select an account, like so, you'll see it loads the boards automatically. You don't really have to press this anymore unless you want to do it again or do it from another account. This speeds up the process, makes it a bit more seamless. Okay. Uh, next thing is, firstly, everything is fixed in terms of scraping and um, posting and pinning and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's say we can just go to Pin Pioneer. Um, let's go popular maybe. Oh no, women's fashion is big these days. Accessories. Okay. Scrape. Remember that we can also do category name, like so. And then put in the women's fashion category there. So let's say we get some pins, just to recap here. You can now use your source URLs again, select the pin, put in description, any description you can use or to comment to put in the um, existing description. Then you can either put in your source URL, like so. Uh -huh. And hit start pin. You'll notice that if you hit start pin, a little message will, po will pop up saying, um, for the meantime, delay is recommended to be at a minimum of 260 seconds to avoid Pinterest blocks. Would you like to change it? Now, the key thing here is, if you're pinning less than 15 items at a time, uh, this doesn't really matter. If you want to pin more than 15 items at a time, I would recommend you press yes, and it will change your delay, as you can see here, uh, for tw from 260 seconds to 280 seconds per pin. Now, the reason we do this is because recently there's been some weird pin limit things um, with 15 pins, etc. So this is just a test number. This is what we seen. This is what we found works. You can put it down to lower. Test, test it. You know, with your own kind of processes. But this works for us. So I've posted the pin. As you can see, if we go back to Pinterest, Pinterest.com, and this is the fashion accessories thing I just posted. As you can see here, the source URL has changed to visit Eric Azizian, and the description is fashion accessories. Very cool, right? You can take this a step further, um, right click download images, this will download the same image to your desktop, like so, um, where are we here, here you go, um, this is the new image, you can open this as I showed in the last video, open this in the watermarking tool, like so, watermark it with our URL and then upload it back. Uh, the next thing is the existing boards and board creation. Um, as you can see, there's a slight tweak in what it looks like. Board creation by itself is currently disabled as a feature because we're just working on improving uh, some fundamental uh, processes to do with board creation. But it's much simpler to use. I think it's more understandable. But if you want to create boards and masks, you would go here and you select you know, board name, board description. You can use those now. You can use board. You can set your board names, you can set your board descriptions and categories to make them more SEO targeted straight away, which you'll see very soon. Um, and then you'll hit create and we'll create the board. Then you can go here and select the board. Makes it a little bit more, um, a little bit more consistent. If you put all and everything in the same kind of process, it becomes a little bit more inconsistent. So this is much more stable, much nicer. Um, those are the main things for now. Um, likewise, you can do all the stuff you did before. Boards, scrape, it will bring you back boards. Um, you know, you can scrape pins. From here, you can even do the same thing for people. So, if you go people, for instance, and you go um, wedding, then if you go right click and if you go, oh, scribble, sorry. If you go pins, for instance, <clears throat> and you go right click, then go to boards, you can actually scrape all the pins off this existing pin and or all the followers which is quite cool. And you can comment, like, and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, that's all for today. Um, if you have any advice or if you have any questions, if something isn't working for you, um, do make sure to check your accounts. That is the most common issue people experience, just an account issue. Make sure it isn't blocked. Um, make sure you're not pinning too quickly, etc. Um, if you do have any questions, send us an email, submit a support ticket. Um, and the best thing to do actually, 
If something fails, right click on the failed pin, open the HTML, and it'll tell you, uh, sorry. Open the HTML, and it'll, it'll usually give you a message here of if it's successful or not successful, or the little error code. Um, send that error code to us, we'll be able to diagnose it a lot quicker that way. Yep, that's all for today. Um, pinpioneer.com, make sure you get a copy today. Um, still pretty cheap at $42.95 for discounted copies and $79.95 retail copies. Um, that's really all there is to say. Still the number one Pin Pioneer Pinterest marketing application. Thanks.